Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Final Fantasy Wave Access video. And we're going to be talking about Yoshikiri and Starlet Illinois buffs today. So if you didn't know, if you're hiding in a rock, Yoshikiri and Starlet Illinois got EX2 and 3 buffs. Garanth did as well, but they they were not changed. They're the same as the JP version, so I'm not going to be going over those. Uh, he is not going to do any better or worse without them. With or without them, basically. So, uh, whatever. Anyways, Yoshikiri buffs. Frozen LCD is incredible. It's really good. Like, really, really good. 45% ice and water amps physical and magical, of course. Whenever I don't mention physical or magical, just assume that they're physical and magical. To save on space. 160% human and machine killer. Really good. Really, really good. <laughs> really amazing. Uh, this is not a new unit where, like, if, if it's locked behind EX3, now you don't, now you gotta pull for it, but... If you had a whole bunch of them and you can, if you can get an EX3, I'd recommend doing that because then you get 160% human machine killer buffs. Very good on, very good on its own, but you also get more than that. You get more than that. And you also, I didn't mention this because save on some space, but 30 LB fill to everybody. Wow. 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 And you guys know I don't hype up things very much. I'm usually very uh, in the middle, but this is not really one of my actual reviews. Uh, so I can be a little more up, up upbeat because that's insane 45% amp killers LB filled everybody What more could you want? The imbue he already has imbues so you just do that in his other move, but wow Very good. Probably one of the best cooldowns of this year. I have to say New high score just helps uh, when he's in Nazov's turn if everybody's already imbued or you've already done frozen LCD, or you've already used his LB in his Brave Shift form, or something like that. You could just use you New know, High Score to give some LB, uh, to, uh, no, uh, give some morale to your team in his off turn. So it's it's decent. Both LB upgrades are great, but the Brave Shift form, of, of course, is better because it gives the 100% uh, little burst damage to everybody, which is really good. He can he can be okay DPS to help maximize damage in Clash of Wills because he did get some modifier upgrades to two of his abilities, technically more than two, but well, one one in his base form and a few in his in his brave shift form, but they're just okay. But they're just okay. They're they'll help they'll help out a little tiny bit. Uh some cons. His SQR and vision card really need a rework in the future. Hopefully that will happen, but I don't know. Uh, they definitely need buffs because they're really bad. I'm going to show you why uh, in the, in a moment here. And his DPS won't be that amazing. So if you don't expect him to be, you know, a top tier DPS, then he'll be better that way because you're not expecting much out of him. You're just, you're just expecting him to help out a little bit, maybe with chaining, uh, chaining for that turn or something like that. So that's what he's really there for. He's not there to do maximum, maximum OP DPS damage stuff. He's just there to help. If you need a chaining partner for that turn, he's there for you. With that being said, I'm not going to be giving any scores to these units because they're not new units, but I think you can tell that uh, the meme I made in my community post, I think you guys can tell that I like the I like his buffs a lot. So definitely a thumbs up at least, I'll say. Definitely a thumbs up. And I'm going to show you my, my a quick build here. So I did try to, to build him a little bit with Spirit TDH, but his stats keep going lower because the Spirit stuff that they give Spirit TDH is such so low stats, like the golden earrings and stuff, it's just so bad that it actually lowers his stats anyway. So you can get 360. You could get uh, even more with Freesia's uh, S teamer, but I, don't, I only have one of her, so sadly that's not going to happen. Uh, so 5,288 defense or Spirit for now. With not his vision card because his vision card is just not very good. So we're using this vision card of Bulwark instead, which is quite good. And his STMR, of course, because then you don't have to equip his bad TMR, which could also get a rework. <laughs> uh, the, G the CN version is quite good. So I don't understand why you couldn't get these things reworked. And his Rave should form a little bit higher stats. It's basically almost the same thing except different. I mean this could be the other one, but whatever. Uh, yeah, this is quite good though His stats are quite good. And like I said, don't expect him to be super strong damage dealer because I Mean obviously you probably switch out some of these things for killers So you wouldn't have this high, but I just wanted to show you how how tanky he can be if you want to make him link to like a, a Provoker if, if you're taking like single target magic damage or something, maybe you could provoke that 
and uh, take almost no damage because that's a lot of spirit. So it's my Yoshi build. Obviously, this could be improved upon in the future if there's ever anything better, but this is quite good, I think. Let's move on to the next unit, Starlight Elena. So here we are with Starlight Elena, and she got quite a few good things as well. 150% attack and magic to a dual in her in her base form. And 40% TDH in the Brave Shift form, which is really amazing. Don't build her true dual in her Brave Shift form, guys. Even though she does have true dual and stuff, and also she has 600% cap for TDH or true dual, I would just stick to TDH for the variants. My opinion. Uh, pretty good mod buffs, pretty good mod uh, passive buffs in it for chaining and stuff like that. I mean, they're still hybrid, so it is what it is, but it's, it's pretty good now. Is it like 599 times for super no Supernova, I think? Something like that? Uh, it's probably more than that because I'm bad at calculating hybrid mods, but yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but it's not going to be, you know, not going to be carton levels, I don't think, but it'll still be pretty good. And something I noticed, she didn't have any, she had no killers in, in her, in her passives at all. So now she has, uh, at least she has 200% human and demon killers, which will help out a lot more. In her brave shift form, gets the LB upgrade, a 300% low burst damage passive, which is phenomenal. So now she has 300% low burst damage, she has 600% chain cap, and she has 400% TDH. Those are the things that she really needed to make her reaction form much better than what it is before before the EX buffs. So if you got EX3 Elena, wow. Star Elena that is. Uh, her brave shift alone first is two hits. Two hits. And we already know how good that is now with uh, Knights of Grand Shell. His is two hits and it's phenomenal. It can go past the cap. So hers is 190 times plus 19 Point seven five. I'm not sure why that number exists. I don't know why they couldn't have just been 20, but for 5% morale above 100%, don't expect to ever hit that max unless you have a team that's cons considerably based around gaining morale. Uh, that number probably won't be hit. That 585 times max probably will not be hit, but that's still a pretty high number considering. And it's hitting twice, so that's pretty good. And 100. Also on top of that, 100. 25 times mod bus for chaining as well. So after she's done finishing uh, She could potentially be hitting pretty hard with her chaining as well. So There are some things to consider with Elena uh, She'll be buttering hush wills of course because of her two L two hit LB finisher in a ratio form It'll be very good because you might potentially hit pass hit the cap or at least hit uh, Multiple times in that in that chaining. So it's pretty good. She's better than in clash wills than outside now definitely some of her modifier buffs still aren't that high, I think. I, I don't know how to I don't know how to calculate hybrid mods really. I'm pretty bad at it, I guess. So I still don't think they're that high because they're still hybrid, but it's still it's still serviceable. And yeah, she'll be she'll be a helpful option in Clash of Wills. She'll definitely probably be in your team if you don't have a lot of chainers. You're probably going to be putting her in your team now if you have a, you're at AX2, of course. If you're at EX1, probably not. You need her to be AX, EX2 at least. But she's been in the pool for so long, so some people that may have her, there's one person in particular, uh, I don't know if he still watches my content, but there was one person in particular who had tons of, so many of her that they, he could get, he could get uh, Ellen into like EX3 several times over, so uh, I'm pretty sure that guy's a lot happier now with this. <laughs> uh, I, I do, I do think that we need to give a small round of applause to Gumi for fixing her brief shift for me because it was so bad that no one ever used it, but now it's actually useful, I think. I think it is. So, definitely pretty good. I say I would say Yoshikiri is the winner in this, but because Starlight Island is just another DPS and finisher, because that's not that exciting. But it is exciting if you don't have a lot of options. Though. I'll say that it, it, it will be it will be very exciting. It's like waking up Christmas morning when, and getting something new. This is this is it. So you were rewarded if you pulled for Starlight Island a long time ago, and you were definitely rewarded if you pulled for Yoshikiri a long time ago. Uh, not gonna be, not gonna be putting out a build for Elena because she's just another DPS killers. All she really has to focus on is killers and 50% uh, attack magic or true to wield, which won't be that difficult. In an erasure term, she has almost all the things that you would ever want: 400% TDH, 300% low burst damage, 600% cap. She already has 200% killers for two of the things that you would you normally fight against. 
So, uh, I think it speaks for itself. I, Yoshikiri buff uh, was quite good, though. I would say Yoshikiri is definitely the winner, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite, and I want to see who's the winner in this debate. So I might even make a poll, but I think Yoshikiri is better, in my opinion. But let me know. Is, is Yelena better? Is Yoshikiri better? Let me know in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. Always love to hear your comments. I always read them, even if I don't reply to them. I still watch all of them. I definitely, I, I take, I take a moment out of my day to go ahead and look through everything, even if I don't respond, guys. So don't be afraid to comment. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.